Church. Man, that's a good picture. Okay, so we have got massive plans for today. Basically, about 45 minutes to an hour away, there is a big tractor pull. Now, what's happening is a bunch of farmers from around this area, as well as a few special guests, are going to be coming there and basically doing a tractor pull. It's going to be super cool. I think Big Bud, I am not sure at the moment. There's a chance it could not be there. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see when we get there. But anyway, we're going to load up and get going. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed today's video, consider dropping a like or don't. That is up to you. And if you have not already, consider subscribing. We're getting so close to 50k. Anyway, let's get into it. So as you can probably tell here, we've got this white 185. This is not our tractor. This is Jim's. Jim brought this over for us to just take over there, whatever. We can just have fun with it. But there's going to be lots of other tractors coming as well. We're going to take the John Deere 4440 and we're going to be taking the 06 Power Stroke. Now, this is also kind of a truck pull as well, but uh, it's most mainly tractors. But we're going to try out some trucks as well. So we're going to have to get the mower off this thing and get it onto the trailer. Now we've got a pretty big trailer, so we should be able to fit everything on as far as I'm aware. I guess we'll just find out here. If we can't get the 06 Power Stroke on, then we aren't going to take it. But if we can't get it on, that would be amazing. I'd love to take it with us today because I feel it would just be super cool. But we'll load everything up to the best of our abilities here. And it looks like we're just going to be able to fit this on the front here we may be able to get it on i guess we'll see at any rate though it's going to be a pretty tight fit we're going to get everything loaded as closely as possible i hope we're going to be able to get all of it on i guess we'll find out here i don't think we're going to be able to get this on from the looks of it but we might maybe i don't know i got to reposition here I wasn't going on straight there now this is more of an old school tractor pull so we're not bringing anything new with us today i'd love to but it's uh, just the rules of today's tractor pull. But if you guys really enjoy this video, I will do definitely more of them uh, with more people. So if you enjoy, let me know in the comments section and we'll do it again. And it looks like we are just barely going to fit everything on. Like I'm talking barely. We got uh, to throw some straps down here real quick. That way nothing's going nowhere. We got strap on the truck here. Now this, check this out. This thing's barely fitting on here, but it does. So that's what's important. Anyway, I think we are good to go. So we better get going. We do not want to be late today. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, finally, we are here. That was quite a long drive, but, oh, man, do they got the line up of tractors here. Good night. They got Big Roy. They got Big Bud. They've got John Deere's biggest tractor that they make with the widest tracks, the 9420 RX. This is the biggest that John Deere makes, and this is like the biggest possible tracks you can get on it. As well, they got a smaller stagger here, but this thing is huge compared to this. So, dadgum, we're going to have quite the lineup today. There's not a lot of small tractors here. We're kind of the only ones that brought small tractors, but I guess this is more of a big tractor, big style tractor pull. But we will be trying these smaller ones out today as well as... Uh, this Ford over here. Now, as far as I know, they've got the biggest possible amount of weight they can on these sleds. They've loaded them down right to the max, even though I'm pretty sure most of these are just gonna tear up the field. No problem. Um, I guess there's supposed to be a tractor that's coming to smooth out the track here in a minute here, so I guess we'll just have to wait for that. Well, it turns out I'm gonna be the one running it this time. Uh, I don't know how I got into this situation here, but looks like we're gonna be running the, the blade tractor here temporarily. I guess the, the uh, guy that's supposed to be doing it is temporarily busy, so, well, whatever. I don't care. It's fun. And I've totally done this before, so we'll be all good, right? Right? Yeah, we'll be good. Okay, well, may as well get to it. Just doing a little bit of cleanup here before we get going onto the track here with all the big tractors. But it should definitely be fun to see uh, who can tow the farthest and the fastest here. And we are done. Good stuff. So we'll just park this off to the side for now. I think they're going to start with the stagger this time. And then uh, they're going to get the uh, John Deere lined up next. And then they're going to save the uh, Big Bud and Big Roy for last. Kind of funny how both of these got uh, big in their name. As if they weren't uh, big enough without needing the name. But anyway, this thing is an absolute beast. They put some crazy big tires on this thing. So it should uh, definitely be cool to see what this thing can do. And uh, while we get this pulled done, they'll be lining the other John Deere up but as soon as we get this hooked up here we're gonna have to let it warm up for a little bit just make sure we're good to go and then we'll be getting going on that okay we are all hooked up here just tighten up the uh, line a bit here there we go and we're just gonna wait till uh, this thing warms up just a bit well it looks like they got the John Deere lined up here this thing is a 
beast. Like, look at these two. I don't know. The Steger still looks bigger, but I think this one is just going to do absolutely crazy because it's got the biggest tracks you can get, and it's got way more horsepower than this sucker. But uh, I think we're almost ready to go here, so let's jump in and see how, just how far we can pull. All right, looks like we're good to go here. And three, two, one. Give her all she's got. Oh, boy. There we go. We're going. I feel like even though uh, this thing's going to get all the way up to the front, we're still going to be able to pull this like it's literally nothing. Oh, yeah, it just it's just going. No problem. It's just dragging that sled like it is nothing. Oh, boy. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, it's got it. It's got it. Yep, all right. We have officially gotten to the end with this sucker. That uh, that was not terribly hard. Okay, well, may as well take this thing back here. And uh, we'll let them take that back. And we'll get to lined up here with another tractor. And see if we can get this 8RX to go. Or 9RX, sorry. Get the names confused all the time. i got to say the wood dash in this does look pretty good. I wish more tractors now had wood dashes. Kind of like uh, the cool sports cars. Well, they're more plastic now, but still, look pretty cool. All right, so it turns out there's a few issues with that sled at the moment, and they've done some tuning to this one, so hopefully the 9RX just doesn't absolutely demolish this thing when it comes to dragging it down the course. In three, two, one, go. All right, we're giving this thing all she's got, the maximum amount of power here, and we are just gonna pull this sucker as far as we can I don't know how far we're gonna get I think we're definitely gonna get to the end at least I'm gonna say yeah th this thing's gonna haul it right to the end no problem I wouldn't expect anything less oh yeah it's it's gonna go right around get, how far can we tow it how far can we possibly tow this thing and yeah yeah no oh oh I thought it was spinning there for a second, but I guess not. Yeah, that's about as that's about as good as we're gonna get. Well, may as well tow it right on back to the to the spot it was at. All right, let's just whip this around real quick. Now I know I did say that this was gonna be a lot of older tractors at this event, but John Deere was sponsoring this event, so they wanted to bring in one of their biggest tractors they possibly have, and uh, just see how well it can do. And well, clearly it uh, pulled that thing like it was nothing. Now, I think it's time for Big Roy to see just how well it can tow. And I'm going to I'm gonna probably say it's going to drag that thing right to the end, no problem. It just takes a little while to start up here. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to say this thing is absolutely going to drag that sled, no problem. I mean, this sucker is eight-wheel drive. Yeah, no problems, I'm going to say. And it can definitely cruise. So let's back this thing up. Now, this thing has a really cool backup camera feature. That, uh, if you can see it there, it's got a little camera. So that's pretty cool. And, uh, well, let's see what we can do. I guess we'll go in three, two, one. All right, here we go. We're giving it all it's got here. Oh, yeah. Throttled up, and it's just going. It's just being an absolute beast. <laughs> oh, man. Yep, dragging it like it's nothing doesn't surprise me. Yeah, it's going to go all the way to the end here that as far as we're gonna go because it drug it faster than I thought it would actually well as I thought this thing absolutely dragged that I think the guy is supposed to be getting on that uh, track any minute there to fix it up here but apparently some of their sleds are having issues so they're trying the last one out with the big bud and uh, I guess they'll see how it goes but I'm excited to see how big bud does I, I think it's still gonna absolutely drag this thing and I'm gonna say a thousand likes and we will tug of war big Roy versus big bud big bud seven four seven let's see how this big boy does now this sucker is so wide that it barely fits on the track like literally look at this thing it barely fits on the track so my guess is it's not even going to be a feather for this thing i'm going to say this toes it like it's nothing so we're going to tighten up our chain here and we're just going to give it we're just going to give it all we got going down here oh yeah it, it's I'm giving the I'm giving the guy controlling that behind there a ride. <laughs> this thing is just going. Oh man. Okay, we're just gonna take this thing right around. Why not? Yikes! This thing is just going. Oh man. This is not even a challenge for it. It is just yeah. No, I I didn't even think this was gonna be a feather on it, and it's clearly not. It just pulls it like it's nothing. 
but I would be excited to see what uh, Big Roy versus Big Bud can do. So, 1,000 likes, and we'll try it out here in the next one. But I think there's one more that we got to try that I've been waiting to try all day. Well, let's see how the 06 does. Whether we blow it up or not, I guess we'll find out here, but I think this one is going to absolutely just pull this sled. We're going to put it on the smaller sled, obviously, because, well, y yeah. <laughs> It's gonna go on the smaller sled for now and find out just how much this sucker can tow. Anyway, let's give her. Oh boy, it's it's going. We're kind of giving this sucker all we've got here and it seems to be going. I don't know how long. Oh boy, it keeps going. I don't know how though. Oh, it's slowing down. It's slowing down. Are we gonna get it to the end? We got it. Oh, come on, right to the end. <laughs> I think. Oh, gum! it just keeps going. Uh, I think this is getting a bit unrealistic at this point. Yeah, we, we kind of got it to the point. All right, well, anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of